Well, after the Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh cabinet swearing in, the focus is now on Rajasthan, where despite a clear majority, the BJP government is yet to have a cabinet and ministers in place. Chief Minister Bhajan Lal has made two trips to Delhi, and uh, it is believed that the list of ministers is final. The BJP in Rajasthan is waiting for the party's high command to give it a go-ahead for the formal swearing in that could take place any time in the next couple of days. Well, obviously, the BJP playing their cards very close to the chest. Now, everyone after Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh is waiting for the swearing-in to happen in Rajasthan. In Rajasthan, it is believed that it could happen in the next one or two days, perhaps. Um, the, it's also believed that, you know, the trips that Chief Minister Bhajan Lal has made to Delhi, in that the names have more or less been finalized. And there was a big, big hint given by uh, BJP State President C.P. Joshi, who said that first a smaller cabinet will be sworn in and then the expansion will happen. So on the lines of Madhya Pradesh, it's expected that about 17 or 18 will be sworn in first. And then the cabinet expansion will happen. Of course, the key factor in deciding the names, uh, we believe, is that old faces and a lot of new faces will find their way into the Rajasthan cabinet. It's also believed that those people who were in the Vasundra cabinet are unlikely, not completely ruled out, but unlikely to find a place in the new cabinet and also an eye on the Lok Sabha polls. So caste equations will have to be balanced. Remember, uh, no, none of the dominant castes like the Jats, Gujars or Minas have found any place in the formula of one chief minister and two deputies. So clearly these castes and communities will have to be accommodated. And also keeping an eye on the Lok Sabha polls, they'll also have to give a representation to all regions of Rajasthan. Right now it's very Jaipur centric. So the chief minister, his deputies are both actually from De Jaipur district. So in fact, what you do have is three people who are ruling this government and all of them are from Jaipur. So somewhere, you know, given uh, political realities, caste balancing, regional region balancing, all this will have to happen. But of course, the big question is, when will be the swearing in? Tomorrow, day after? Well, everyone is eagerly waiting for that date. Could be probably anytime soon, because after Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh, it's now Rajasthan's turn.